the former presidential candidate under the platform of the defunct Alliance for Democracy AD, has stated that there won't be room for rigging in the 2023 general elections and urged politicians to move to the grassroots for successful efforts in the campaigns. Chief Olufalai made his disclosure while commissioning the National Secretariat of the Social Democratic Party, SAP, in Abuja. He expressed joy at the revival of the party. While displaying joy, the elder statesman expressed confidence in the party's flag bearer, Barrister Adewoli Adebayo, and assured supporters that the party will take over the villa and other state government houses in 2023. <laughs> New Secretariat of the Social Democratic Party, the only party in Nigeria. Yes. Others have no manifesto, they have no ideology. Yes. They are just opportunistic gang up for power. This is the only party. In the name of Allah, I have the privilege to call the tape for the benefit of Nigerians and for the glory of God. They could see that if we did not eradicate poverty, that poverty will, pro will produce children, and the children, one of them will be insecurity and other development and disunity. Because a poor people in a tense environment, in an insecure environment, cannot be asked to practice love to one another. They will be lashed out against one another. And institutions will be undermined by poor people who are struggling in their lives. And those who have opportunity to man institutions will be using the institutional resources to escape from poverty personally. So we are now back 30 years later. We are telling Nigerian people through the symbolism of what we are doing. Today, I open this office that through this office, truth will be told to Nigerian people. Through this office, justice will be spread across the country. Through this office, the manifesto of MK Wabiola, Farewell to Poverty and Insecurity, and the constitutional mandate in Chapter 2 of the Nigerian Constitution for us to spend the money of Nigerian people in the interest of the Nigerian people. It's what brought us today. And I must thank my brother, Shehu Gaban, without whom I will not be in this political.